All right, so here's what I got going. One inch PVC tubing. And it's 39 and a half inches long. You can, I mean, you can make it any length you want. I'm using a 516 that's 18 stainless steel threaded rod. It's 12 inches long. Stainless steel nuts and a stainless steel washer. And I'm, I went with a 3D printed insert to support the, the threaded rod in the tubing. So let's go ahead and assemble this. What you're going to do is put the nut in on one end. Then you're going to push it in as far as it goes. Now what's good about this method is that um, you can replace this out or take it out to resharpen or whatever without having to disassemble anything really. So here we go, we're going to insert it. And go ahead and put the washer in the nut. And that's the basic assembly of it, at least on the tip end. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and run an end cap on it. Of course, this is just showing it being assembled. But uh, I'll get more in depth on how everything locks in. I'm going to drill it right around here somewhere. And probably put a little screw. And that's going to lock that insert in. So let's do that now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill through the PVC into the insert. But I'm going to do it in a way where it's going to miss this center shaft because I want it to be able to be removed. If I need to replace this or sharpen it or do whatever I want with it. Alright, so let's do that. Pick a spot over here somewhere. the right angle I don't miss the shaft and of course depending on the screw you can always cut it down or use a shorter screw That's it. It's locked in. So the other thing I opted to do is I wanted to make sure that this floats no matter what, especially if water got inside the tube. So I'm going to fill it up with these pieces of pool noodle that are cut into strips, which I'm just going to feed in there until basically I fill up the whole tube. I had a bunch of scrap pool noodle left over, so I figured, why not? This will work.
Mm, that should do it. Cap it off. And you're done. I'm not going to glue these together because I like to be able to take it apart. I, I just don't see no need for it. But uh, now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and make a little sheath for the point. So let's do that now. Okay, so we have a 8 inch spear. So I went ahead and cut a two, just a hair on the 10 inches, enough to go past this point here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a splice to the tubing. Okay, and then on the other end, I'm going to add a cap. So now, let's go ahead and put this together. And there it is. Now you have a sheath to cover your point so you can throw it around and not have to worry about stabbing yourself or making a hole in something. Take it off when you're ready to use it. <laughs>